So um, this video is going to be uh, a positive one about Graham Murphy, but the first thing we need to kick it off with is um, his major negative. That's uh, a reluctance to change the game until the late stages of the game, i.e. 75th minute substitutions. I've seen it a few times now. I've been frustrated with it a few mm. times now. Um, I don't agree. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I think, uh, like you said yourself, it's frustrating. You're trailing games like their goal. It's getting to like, the 60th minute and he's still not changing it. You can tell that the system that he's picked isn't working for this game. And he's just not doing anything about it. And by the time he does do something about it, mm. it's too late in the game. And I, one thing I notice about Murphy, like, I notice it quite a lot, he only ever used two of his three substitutions. Yes. Uh, if that. I, I, even if that, I think the only substitution I've ever seen regularly use is Cummings. And if we're winning a game, Miller will come on for the last five minutes, and Harrod will come on for the last couple of minutes. These changes need to be made earlier in the game to have an impact. Do you know? Absolutely right. Um, uh, but as we said, perhaps that could be um, uh, an indication that maybe Murphy just believes in his team, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But when the fans for, uh, in the stands are crying out for a substitution and it's Aye. not coming, you're only just going to get frustrated. It's, just, it's, it's a level of frustration that just yeah. builds and builds and builds. So obviously he's... Um, it's relatively new to managing. Uh, mm -hmm. Managed um, the youth of, of, of Rangers, and it's his second spell in management now. Um, he didn't do too badly last in his last spell. He didn't do too well right in his first year. Uh, his first year, his first sort of term. I remember us losing to St Johnson. Uh, we get better against St Johnson. I think two one was it. Uh, we get better again. Uh, we lost to Dundee away. We drew to ah. Ross County away as well. But to be fair, we had. A lost squad, it's as simple as that. We had a lost squad. We just got rid of Warburton, who was probably the stalest uh, football yeah. manager I've yeah, saw. Yeah. So there was a trans transition period there that not he had to adjust to. It was his first managerial job. Uh, but I think as the days progress, he just looks more and more comfortable with the He role. does, he does, yeah. And oh, of course, we've also got to mention that the step up to Rangers manager is. Um, it's massive, it's huge. It's also a job that not a lot of people would want, depending on the situation that we're in at the time. Um, Obviously, I think Graham Murphy's done a, a, a fantastic job so far, but there are still some perhaps imperfections. But you're going to get that in every manager. Definitely. I would like to see that one change, though, in particular. Um, what is it that you think that Graham Murphy has got right in the sense that, you know, Warburton couldn't do it in the league, um, Kaijina couldn't do it in the league, mm -hmm. yet um, Murphy's been able to get two draws, that's two points, and almost beat Celtic? Well, I think he's got the mentality to set teams up for big games. I think. You look at, uh, take the last old seven game out of the equation, um, he picked up, uh, I think it was only beaten once uh, against the top six, and that was against Hibs, since he was, he's been in charge, so he knows how to set teams up for big games. Celtic can now, so he's only lost twice against the top six, which is a good record, but mm. you look at games this season, well, we've went away to Kilmarnock and dropped points, we've went away to... Dundee and drop points. We've dropped points at home to Hamilton, St Johnston. There's still so many inconsistencies that I feel I do like Murphy. Don't get me wrong. I think it was a, a conservative appointment for the board until the end of the season. But I don't know if he's the answer going forward in the long term. You don't know. I, I really don't. I think. I think. I, I personally would. I, I think mean, we could do a lot worse than that point, not I don't get me wrong. Yeah, like Cargenia. Aye. Or, that, or uh, Warburton. Uh, you could take a, a daft, daft gamble. Well, to be fair, Motley is a gamble because he's so inexperienced, but he had a really good transfer window uh, under his belt. Mm. We've been playing some really good football and scoring a lot of goals, but as a question mark over the defence. Yeah, of course there is, but we've been saying that for years. Aye. You know? It's because we're no longer used to it. We, we go and have Amoruso, Richard Goff, Aye. Terry Butcher. Sasa Papach. Sasa Papach, Mr. 8 out of 10. <laughs> um, yeah, with, with Graham Mercy, I personally would would keep him on. I think I'm very impressed with what I see. Rangers are constantly improving, uh, no longer scraping results. We're, we're beating teams comfortably, <laughs> playing goals. against Celtic comfortably as well. Aye. You know, Aye. Uh, Previously, we've only managed to get one goal against Celtic under Mercy. We're holding um, on. But other games, draws as well, 0-0 no draw, I was there for that game as well at Celtic Park. But um, scoring two goals, one goal, uh, uh, goal early on as well, shows that the players believe in Mercy. I, I genuinely believe that. I, I think under Kajina, you could see there was a, a felt that there was a oh, split. They, they didn't in, like him. No there way. was a split in the direction. Right. Kenny Miller was banished to the under-20s. Uh, oh, that, that was a silly move though. Don't get me wrong, I don't like Kenny Miller starting because I think he doesn't offer enough. 
But yeah, anymore. Uh, anymore. Uh, I think when he plays, he just he tries to cover every position. It's just like... Yeah. Oh, Kenny, it's he's, he's a workhorse. For you. It, just, despite the fact that he's, what, 38 now? But you can't just banish a, an experienced pro into the no. 20s. No way, like, no way. You need him about the dressing room. You need him in training. He's just, he offers something different. I mean, don't get me wrong. Before Kajini, we did need an authoritative manager. Or authoritative <laughs> manager, but he, a he, he just went in too hard, didn't and, he? You know? and his tra- signings were absolutely useless. I, know. I mean, Pena, two and a half million. See, to be fair, like, I actually quite like Carlos Pena. I know probably I've got a stick for us in the comment section, but he was a goal scoring midfielder. See, I, he had I'm five not starts. That. He had five starts, scored four goals, and he was slated for being lazy. Well, the thing is, he, he looked lazy. He he looked he looked slightly chubby. Aye. Yeah, during but, games he wouldn't be as a midfielder at, at the kind of role that he said that he was. We signed him, and he was meant to be a box to box player. Mm-hmm. Right, that, that means you get hundred percent box to box. He didn't do that. No, he was in. The attacking half. Now I'm not. I'm not. I don't have a problem with that because mm-hmm. he, he had good vision. He could lay good passes. He but was always in the right place at the right time. Oh. Remember, we went up to Petodre and bet Aberdeen two one. Carlos Pena created every chance from open play that Rangers had That's in true. that game. When he was on the pitch, I think he was on the pitch for sixty minutes. Created every chance from open play we had, and he was starting to come into a bit of form, and then we decided to get rid of him. Albeit we've brought in better talent. I think he wanted to go to be honest. I think he wanted to go and join Kaijini again. I think that was. But um, you look at his other signs. Would you want Murti to show faith in Pena then? I don't know. I think it's. I still think there's a good player in there somewhere. No, I think. I mean, he's played at World Cups and stuff like that. You don't play at World Cups if you're not a good player. But this is funny. He 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 probably thought I was gonna. Did you think I was gonna slate you for saying that? I probably. (laughs) I was. We haven't discussed this ever. No. I'm expecting a lot of, a lot of stick for this, mm. but uh, we'll see how that goes. Welcome to Rangers fans show. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I think Graham Murphy shows show some fantastic capabilities to to change the way that we play Celtic to going from losing five uh, one, you know, the longest time that we've ever lost a, a um, longest time. Wait, when was the last time that we lost five one at Ibrox? Was that the, Was that the? I think that was. That, that was a record. joint. Was that the I joint? Think, the thing about Kajina is he sets so many different records. Yeah. That was the lost to Aberdeen at home for the first time in twenty six years. That was the highest defeat to Celtic in ever. Actually, that was the highest defeat to Celtic. Wasn't ever. it the joint highest though? No, I think it was the at highest. Ibrox. At Ibrox, I. Jesus Christ. Uh, and it was just it was a calamity a guy. So see if you go to him to Murty, it's like gone for. But you can see Murty's plan. When I, Celtic had the fan. ball, or, or when teams, let's just say teams in general, had the ball, but the only way you're going to really judge a manager is when you play your arch rivals, right? I noticed Marty's plan today was it was like whenever Bayat had the ball, it was just stand off and let him have it. Aye. Because he would drop a clanner, and he'd done that for That's the it. first goal. He's the new Ambrose of the team. Aye, exactly. It's like but it's as for the rest of the team, I, I found that what Marty would have said was, I want everyone to, to trap back when they can, particularly can Diaz, who showed brilliant Aye. defensive capabilities. I want you to put pressure on players, particularly like Scott Brown, who, when put under pressure, he can thrive and do a nice turn and then a nice purse. Purse? Nice pass. Oh, nice pass. <laughs> like, ooh, nice pass. <laughs> but most of the time, um, Scott Brown, when put under pressure now, you know, he, 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 he's, he's not getting legs for it. Uh, I no. saw today he kind of got overrun in midfield, I think. Yeah. Doherty will be the future of that Rangers team. Oh, God, Doherty and McCrory. Now, that, that's going to be a fantastic pair. That'll be a great midfield. But just back in terms of not, uh, I don't know how it will span out in the long term. I think he's a strong candidate for the job. The only strong candidate for the job. Strong candidate. The only candidate in the moment. Isn't Aye. Uh, the other thing, I just don't know managers out there that are going to take the job because we're still... Uh, it's not a job everyone wants. Exactly. Normally, say 10, 15 years ago, everybody wanted to do Angel's job. Yeah. But now, when you look at recent times and stuff like that, there's a question mark over the job. There's just... We can't ask Alex, Alex McLeish now either. Aye. They can of keep asking more or they come back and save us. We need... It's like, man, you asking for Sir Alex, isn't it? Aye. We, we, need, we need fresh ideas. Uh, Marty, I, I think Marty I, provides I think that. he's got a good game plan. I think he's done so much better. See, since Jimmy Nichols came in, he's Aye, got a yeah. little bit of... Well, put it this way, though. Experience. If that was his first transfer window, mm-hmm. how can you... You know, you can only improve... I mean, I, if that's your first transfer window, what I'm trying to say, and it was that strong, mm-hmm. I mean, managers, they tend to improve, particularly from a young age. I, um, I believe that we've got a fantastic manager who now can see how we can play against oppositions and actually, you know, not stick to plan A like Mark Warburton or I, stick to losing the dressing room like Kajinia. He does need to change, it, change things yeah, it does, yeah. quicker in games. I think... The minute Celtic went down to 10 men today, it should have been changed instantly. 
uh, but we still waited another yes. ten minutes to see what was going to happen. By the way, and this then, is, this was shot after the Celtic game. Ah yes, it's just, and he's called Dick. By the way, I would say that. Aye, just not introducing it. Yeah, time. but you're not important. Ben, it's not important. Uh, aye, it was just. Where'd that come from? For the ground. Aye. Uh, aye, well, half the cup, but we're getting that. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Great mercy. Aye. Uh, Hurry up. They're waiting. Uh, aye. <laughs> if you'd say something, please. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so um, the conclusion of Graham Mercy is pretty much that he's got innovative ideas. We really appreciate what he's doing. But there was some like reluctance with like Mark Warburton to change the formation. Now, this one's not as dramatic. He knows flexibility. He even can get coming mm-hmm. to players like um, uh, an inside winger. Uh, yeah, yeah. I works really well against the World Cup. Um, he's, he's signed, I think, good defensive players. He, he's putting faith in the youth like Bates and uh, McCrory. Now, Bates today, his injury was oh, nasty. No, no, no. Absolutely nasty. Me, me and Ben are just knowing after watching the highlights. And the minute, uh, what was it, Logic said it's shot. It's just, it's oh. fall through. It was, I, I completely say it was completely accidental. But the fall through, it's just crunched. Oh. Oh, that, that, oh. Honestly, so basically, Rogic shoots. Um, obviously, as he does, he goes in the air and his foot Bates lands ankle. on Bates' ankle. And obviously, when a foot lands on an ankle, the ankle does that, it rolled over. And it's I'm sure foot, uh, someone would have heard a snap. Aye, it's aye. something's broke there. Uh, I, hope, I hope Bates isn't for too long because he's come into a game recently. So, what's your conclusion for Merton? Merton. Uh, Merton. <laughs> I think Mert, uh, is a top candidate for the job in the long term. And I think maybe giving him another year's contract just to see how he does next season. I think it all really depends on how he does in the Scottish Cup. I think if he does well in the Scottish well, Cup... Is that really fair? Aye. Because if we've... Obviously, I think we've blew the league today, so that's the best chance of winning the league going. We need silverware. Winning the league... Mate, when, when he took over, Pedro Cajini were pretty much fucked us. Aye. He'd fucked us. Aye, aye. And oh, I don't normally swear on us <laughs> on this YouTube <laughs> channel. But um, I think it, 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 since Murty took over, until this game, he had garnered more points than Celtic had. Aye. So aye, in aye. that part of the, the, the season, Murty was above Celtic. So, to say that he's pretty much fucked the league for us, he hasn't. No, I'm not saying Cardinia, he's, I'm not saying he's fucked the league, but the league is fucked. And I think the board will look at it as in silverware wise. If yeah, if yeah, we get enough. to the, we need the Scottish Cup, I'd say. But not a, aye, he's a strong contender. I do like him. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. True. Anything else you want to remark on Graham Murphy? Eh. Uh, It'll be interesting to see how he does under another transfer window, actually. Yeah. I'd like to see how else, because the one thing... If right. he could sign Gosson a permanent, if he could convince... Aye. It'll show his managerial um, transfer uh, skills would be fantastic. If he could convince Holloway, who might even leave the club, mm-hmm. um, to, to sell us Goss, that would be fantastic. Uh, it's just a, f- a point you picked up on there. I think Marty, uh, one thing he's got that I really like, admire is my management skills. See, like, he's got the best out of Windass. I think he's actually getting the best at my loss as well, believe it or not. Well, uh, the best is in like performance wise. Aye, aye, aye. But like, finishing, you know, it's aye. up to Morelos, not Murti. Aye. I uh, get what you're saying. But yeah. like for Windas, Windas, uh, eleven goals in nine games for midfield, or I might be the other way about. Uh, it's, no, it's that way. Yeah. Aye. Eleven goals in nine games for midfield is brilliant. Aye, a couple of goals against Fraser Brother in air. But he's still scoring goals, you can only beat who's put in, put in front of you. I don't understand why people um, degrade goal scorers when they score against a lesser club because mm-hmm. they can still not score in the game exactly I don't the, get it the goals are better and, and he score. just scored against Celtic you know but eh uh, aye not eh uh, we'll see how this uh, goes to be fair and interestingly enough he normally throws against Celtic aye he, do you remember when um, George, George S. Amaras he used to turn up against Rangers and no mm-hmm. one else I think Windass is, you know, he's got the capability to turn up against Celtic. Aye. But in his first game against Celtic, and we got annoyed at him because he posted that picture from Five One saying throwback, and we're thinking his fans. But it was an incredible like when I first watched that game, I thought Windass what a was going to really take on. But I don't know what button. He was played at a position last mm. season. But the video's not about Windass. As you said, yeah, like, I was about to say, Mercy <laughs> has absolutely brought. Aye, he's the definitely getting Windass. I think that's just a credit to his man management skills. Aye, absolutely. Anything else you want to add? Nah, not really. Not even WATP. We are the people. We are the people. All right, guys, uh, make sure that you subscribe for more. Um, also, like the video. Beck, religion of sports. I'm going to. Are we, are we plug? No, I'm basically, I'm going to be your wee plug. I'm going to put the, the link to uh, Deck's program or, or documentary or Netflix that he, he uh, features in right. um, in the description. Quickly sum it up. 
Uh, I basically just a quick forty-five minute old documentary just sort of talked about the old film how there's so much more to it than football, but it's a way of life for so many different folk. And I that's about it. That's it. Pretty much, I keep it short and sweet. If you want to find out more, you can go and watch it. My Twitter, I'll be linked in the description below as well, so you can go and follow me. And, uh, aye. It's quite cool you're on uh, Netflix, though, isn't it? Aye, it's decent, isn't it? Fantastic. Right, guys, uh, as I said, make sure you subscribe, like for more, and religion and sports below.